Welcome to the Harvey home. Come on inside, I'll show you how we do Christmas. Some of my favorite holiday things that we do here is we love cooking. We love to eat, we're foodies. So I love baking, baking breads, making cookies with the grandchildren. That was so much fun. So this is our tree. Of course, my husband has to have the mall tree. That's a huge story with my husband about when he was a little boy. He loved seeing the mall tree and didn't understand why when he got home, his tree didn't look like the one at the mall. And then we have these two guys. This is Brian. And this guy over here who has Brian six is John. They keep an eye on things to make sure everything stays safe around here. So these are our penguins. But I remember one year we had a tree that was so huge. It actually, I think it took like maybe nine, 10, 12 guys to even bring the tree in. It was crazy. The tree was so big, so massive. It took up a huge portion of the entire living room. It was decorated beautifully, but when we walked in, it was like, whoa. <laughs> it was amazing, but this one here, I think is my favorite so far out of all of them. It's pretty incredible. Okay, so let's talk about Mr. Harvey, what he absolutely has to have during Christmas. Here's a list. Eggnog, fried oysters, and fried chicken gizzards. I know everybody's probably cringing. Don't hate on it. If you haven't tried it, it really is delicious. But that's something he loves. That's a tradition that his father did with him. So this is a tradition that he carries on with his sons, and he loves it. Okay, so let's talk about some of my favorite holiday songs. You have to have at the Harvey's, The Temptations Christmas. That's a must. Mariah Carey will definitely be playing in this household. Uh, the Grinch, that's fun for the kids. And we gotta have Santa Baby. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little Eartha kit as well. Okay, so this is a new tradition that I'm starting actually this Christmas, and that is I put a little tree upstairs outside my grandchildren's bedroom. A little family ornament tree that they can come. We've got family pictures on it. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I think we might set up a little table there to put Santa's cookies and his milk there. Aha, uh -huh. I think I found a perfect spot. So we're in the kids' room. This is my grandkids' room. And so one new tradition that we've started here is the elf on the shelf. This is Penny. So Penny makes sure that everybody stays on the nice list and not the naughty list. Um, I got her right now, but she moves and you can't touch her because she loses her power, but she flies and you never know where she's gonna go or where she's gonna end up, but she keeps an eye on things for Santa to keep everything you know, on the up and up the way it's supposed to be. Okay, you guys, guess who just landed? Here's Dancer. And over here, his buddy Prancer. Let me tell you the story about these reindeer. So I kept seeing these deer at the Four Seasons and I was like, I have to have them. So I've been talking about them for years. And so finally, I got my two babies and they're here. They flew all over the world really with Santa. They've been really, really busy. And finally they landed a couple of days ago. So they got a new home here with the Harveys. Here in the Harvey household, we play a lot of games. We play Taboo, we play Heads Up, we play Uno, you name it, we're a game family. And that has to be the ending of a great Christmas for us.